Like I'm sure you are, the National Wildlife Federation is very concerned about this BP oil spill in the Gulf of Mexico. There are a huge number of questions that need to be answered. Hi, I'm Doug Inkley, the Senior Scientist for the National Wildlife Federation. The questions that need to be answered include, first of all, how large is this spill? BP has said that it's 5,000 barrels per day of oil. Unfortunately, independent scientific investigations using satellite imagery and also studying the flow of the oil from the underwater pipes has indicated that the spill is far, far larger than their, quote, official estimates. It's probably 10 times larger. That means the Exxon Valdez spill is quite a bit smaller than the oil that has already been put out into the Gulf of Mexico in this BP oil spill. Another concern is the dispersants that are being used to try to disperse the oil out over a much larger area so that it has less of an effect on the local wildlife where it may wash up on shore. What's in these dispersants? How toxic are they? Are they really having an impact in reducing the oil washing up onto the shore? And a biggest concern is when the oil is dispersed into the water column and onto the ocean floor, what's happening to all the organisms that live there? These are a lot of questions that need to be answered. Most of the oil is far underwater where we believe it's gonna have some very long-term impacts on the ocean ecosystem and all of the people and all the fish and wildlife that depend upon it. What we need to keep in mind about this BP oil spill in the Gulf of Mexico is that this is like, well, if you will, it's like a slow motion train wreck. It's continuing to go on and there's really nothing that we can do to stop what its effects are gonna be for years ahead and in fact, for decades ahead. What I can tell you is that really, as the spill comes under control, is that this is the end of the beginning. Now we have to pay attention to the rest of the story. What we learned from the Exxon Valdez is that even 20 years later, there are still impacts of that oil spill on fish and wildlife. We need to be looking at the situation in the Gulf of Mexico very clearly and very closely for the years ahead and even for the decades ahead. Now comes the rest of the story when we have to look at the long-term impacts. For more information, please visit the National Wildlife Federation's website at nwf.org slash oilspill.